first comes to mind when you think of chasing? Perhaps you remember playing tag when you were younger? Your friend was chosen to be it and chase the others trying to tag with their hand while you were among the many others who ran away to avoid being caught and tagged. You're it. Or maybe you're thinking of that one scene in your favorite drama where the lead actor saw the back of his long lost lover in an airport, ran and chased after her while desperately calling her name. Mm, chasing in a relationship doesn't always entail the person chasing after you and declaring their love and desire to be closer to you. The real world is very different. Some people are hesitant and they may never give any hints that they are interested in you. Some take more measured approach, offering more subtle clues and hints. So with that said, here are five signs someone's chasing you and you don't know it. Digital proximity. Do you agonize over text response times when developing a relationship with someone? You see the three dot ellipsis appear in a chat message and wait with anticipation for what's gonna pop up in the chat, but then the dots disappear? Psychiatrist Mimi Winsberg writes in Speaking in Thumbs, a psychiatrist decodes your relationship text so you don't have to, that our thumbs tend to speak most loudly regarding our romantic relationships. Texts are used to flirt or reach out intimately while emojis express dissatisfaction, desire, or hesitation. When someone's priority is to build a relationship with you, there will be smiling, winking, and blushing in the language of the thumb. The person will initiate conversations, ask questions, and consistently text you. Physical proximity. As a professor of social psychology, Madeleine A. Fugere, PhD, observes friendships and romantic relationships forming among her students. During her first attraction lecture, two students who sat next to each other all semester developed a relationship. Unlike her other students, these two students sat closer together. It is possible that those students selected seats closer to one another because they liked one another, or their attraction to one another may have grown as they sat next to one another. Researchers Mucha Back and colleagues explained in Psychological Science Journal that simply sitting closer to a potential mate could increase your liking for them. Furthermore, according to online dating coach Andy Forness in a Cosmopolitan article, if you notice that the person is not afraid of body proximity and just can't resist the urge to be as close to you as possible, then it's a major sign that the person is interested in you. Emotional proximity. Do you notice your coworkers' questions begin to change from wanting to know what your favorite color is to what your life goals are? When someone is interested in you, they'll wanna know you on a deeper level and build emotional intimacy. In other words, they wanna bond with you emotionally and build an emotional attachment. Researchers Sandra Langeslag and Henk van Steenbergen explained in a 2020 study that emotional attachment involves a gradual development of a feeling of bonding, which is calming, comforting, and makes you feel happy and secure. The person chasing you will delve deeper beyond the simple yes and no transactional questions to uncover what has shaped your life and what values and ambitions you hold dear. Your past, present, and future are very important to them along with your memories, ideas, and deepest feelings. In addition, they'll be open about themselves and allow you to form an intimate connection with them. Get friends and family involved. Oh, wait a minute. Did your lab partner mention that his brother will get married on the weekend and he invited you to the event? Psychology researchers Marianne Fisher and Catherine Salmon revealed in a paper published in the Journal of Family Studies that introducing you to their parents is a common practice when a person wants their parents' approval and wants to show you that they're serious. Dating coach and best-selling author Diana Dorrell agrees and explains in an Elite Daily article that someone who is chasing you and wants to become more involved in your life will also want to introduce you to their friends. It's their way of sharing another side of themselves that you may not know. The opposite is also true. By knowing your friends and family, they'll be able to know you more as a person as they discover more about your hobbies and lifestyle choices. Compliments. Imagine one day a college senior smiles at you in the hallway and compliments warmly. I appreciate how beautiful you look in that red sweater you're wearing. Blushing, you whisper, thank you, and rush into the lecture hall. According to researchers from the University of Washington, Ivan Duhan and Valerie Manyasov, a romantic relationship can be established by giving compliments. It would be natural for someone who is chasing you to initiate interaction with the hope that they will eventually become romantically involved with you, whether in private or in front of others. They'll praise you for your physical qualities, skills, or material possessions. Maybe it's taken you some time to figure out what the signs are that someone's chasing you. 
We hope this video has answered some of your questions. The first half of the work has already been completed. The next half is to ask yourself, do I wanna be caught? Please like and share this video with people you think might enjoy it. And check out the references in the description if you wanna learn more. And don't forget, you matter.